All right, everybody knows that the Emperor Constantine of ancient Rome is the one who made Christianity legal. And an emperor who came along after him named Theodosius is who actually made Christianity the state law of Rome. All right. Prior to Constantine legalizing Christianity, Christians had a really, really difficult time existing. Christianity was only 300 years old at that point. It was created in the Roman-controlled province of Judea at that point in time. Uh, Christians were pretty much populated by people who were considered God-fearers, meaning they practiced Jewish customs, but they didn't fully convert to Judaism. But because they feared God and not going to heaven in the afterlife, they pretty much faked the funk and pretended to go along with everything just to make sure that their seat in heaven was reserved. And then eventually, because Christianity was filled with these, these people who weren't really serious about Judaism... They eventually started to separate from Judaism and become its own thing. All right. So by the time Constantine made Christianity legal, Christianity was roughly 300 years old. And Christians had gone through a lot of a lot of turmoil because at that point in time, the Roman Empire was still pagan. They still believed in. Got the, the Roman religion, which which was the belief in a bunch of different gods, you know, they had a lot of different gods. They were polytheists, and they were so committed to these particular gods that they prayed to them constantly. They offered sacrifices to them because they believed that if they made their gods angry, they would punish them, you know? They had gods for basically everything in life. They had a god of the sea. They had a god for uh, uh, reproducing children. And, (laughs) you know, they had a god to make sure your crops, you know, cultivated well and harvested well. So they felt like, so the Romans had this idea that if you anger the gods, if you don't pray to the gods enough, if you don't make the gods happy, if you don't sacrifice enough to the gods, they're going to get up they're going to get upset with you and they're going to punish you by killing your crops or giving you a poor harvest or uh, making your child sick and die or making you sick and die. And and because Christians didn't believe in all of those different gods. They only believed in one god, and they were the first religion to actually require its adherents to denounce all other gods but the one true god. They really couldn't participate in public life because in ancient Rome, the majority of events and activities and uh, social you know, social things that occurred were religious. You know, you might go attend some sort of party or some sort of get-together for this god. Or everybody might gather at this location to watch a sacrifice to this god. Or everybody might go to this temple to uh, burn candles and pray to this god. You know, so the majority of social life in ancient Rome consisted of, you know, showing love to the gods because you didn't want to make them angry. So you showered them with attention constantly. So the Christians, they didn't they didn't get involved in this because they believed in their one God. So they oftentimes stayed home. And it was obvious. All the Romans were out doing their thing, attending the celebrations for their different gods. And all the Christians that were at home. So it made them easy scapegoats. So whenever something bad happened in Roman society, 
they would blame the Christians. You know, the gods were angry because all of these Christians were at home instead of honoring the gods. So they were frequently persecuted, killed, etc. So when Constantine made Christianity legal, it stopped all that from happening. And <laughs> historians question the sincerity of him legalizing Christianity. According to the myth, he was hit by the Holy Spirit, and one day he woke up and realized that Christianity was the one true religion. And he went to work eliminating the paganism that was a part of Roman society at the time. You know, being pagans is what caused the Western Empire to fall. You know, so now we have to become Christians in order to do the right thing and honor the one real God. But in reality, he legalized Christianity because he knew that it was the best thing to do to organize not only the population of people, because Rome had governance over different ethnic groups, different religious groups, you know. And uh, he figured that Christianity would be the best thing to unite all these people. Because... If everybody has these these different pagan religions, that means they're going to worship multiple gods. And some people worship more gods than others, or some people might like these gods over these gods. I mean, you have so many gods to pick from. Most people didn't worship all of them. Most people picked specific gods to worship that they felt felt were relevant to their life. So if I were a farmer, I would pray to the God who could give me a good harvest. Or if I were uh, a sailor, I'd pray to Poseidon, you know, the God of the sea. So Constantine realized, okay, Christianity has one God. Christianity is the only religion on earth that requires you to denounce all of the gods. Okay, cool. And he specifically made, yeah, he specifically studied Christianity and all forms of it at that particular time. There were a few variations of, of it at that time, very primitive variations. And he picked the most basic, non-controversial variation to be the legal version which was, uh, in his words, Orthodox Christianity. Orthodox Christianity to Constantine meant it's something that everybody can agree with. It's something that's not going to cause people to argue over, uh, over, over its beliefs. It's cut and dry. It's basic. You know, this is the best version of Christianity for me to legalize because, hey, it's just the basic cut and dry version of Christianity. It's not controversial and it's not going to cause people to be divided over the beliefs of it. So, after Constantine, Theodosius comes around and he makes it the official religion of Rome. And at that part and at that point in time it was called the state religion of the Roman Empire. Christianity. And, uh, yeah, and another reason why the Romans decided to go the Christianity route was, was not only because it kept the population controlled and kept the population unified, and they didn't have to worry about different groups of people worshiping these gods as opposed to these gods. Everybody's worshiping the same god, so that keeps everybody on one accord. It also was good for business, you know, because eventually the, the Catholic Church and the Eastern Orthodox Church began asserting control over various aspects of society that previous religions didn't do. For example, the, church, the Catholic Church would sponsor artists. Leonardo da Vinci was 
a guy who the Catholic Church came to and paid him money to paint. They would sponsor militaries. They would sponsor um, everything. They would sponsor businesses. It got to a point where the Catholic Church, Eastern Orthodox Church, became so powerful within that world, the Roman world, and going into late antiqu antiquity and going into uh, the Middle Ages, the Catholic Church became so powerful that it 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 became basically the the emperor, the new emperors of Rome. It was like another version of the Roman Empire, but instead of being the governor or government of a specific country or a specific empire. It was the governor, the government of an entire continent, Europe, um, and certain parts of uh, Anatolia. You know where the Byzantine and where the eastern half of the Roman Empire was. You know, so instead of just being the one government of one country or one little empire, you can become the government of an entire world, essentially using religion because you're able to get all of these different people united under one umbrella and once you assert enough power as the church you can take control over various aspects of society you can take control over the business aspect of society you can take control of the artistic aspect of society you can take control of the the, the education because the Catholic Church sponsored everything from educational institutions, public schools, artists, businesses. They got to a point where they had they, they were in control of who were, who was able to become leaders of individual countries and and things like that. So Constantine started all of this by legalizing Christianity because he saw the tremendous amount of power that praising one God had and denouncing all other gods. He saw that uh, polytheism was going to be a problem. It was going to lead to the population being uh, not unified. And he realized that the only way that you can control multiple ethnic groups, multiple nationalities, multiple races, people who speak different languages is to have all of them worship the same God. And if you can get these people to learn the doctrine, be afraid to go to hell, aspire to go to heaven, then the church can segue itself into society as an omnipresent force, an all-powerful source. The people will go to the church for everything, you know, for from their business, from their business needs to 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 everything. You know, the church becomes this 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 powerful global government, and it all started from Constantine legalizing Christianity because he saw one benefit in it. It's not a bunch of different gods, so I don't have to worry about this group of people. Uh, only going to the temple of Zeus or this group of people only going to the temple of Jupiter or this group of people going to the temple of this god or that god. Instead of having all of these different gods, I can have one god. And once I put that onto the population, everybody will be on one accord and everybody will be much easier to govern because when I pass down a mandate, it's going to be based on the religion. <laughs> so I don't have to worry about offending anybody. I picked Orthodox Christianity because it's the most non-controversial variation of Christianity. It's the version of Christianity that everybody agrees with. So when I'm passing down my mandates as the government, everybody's going to be okay with it. And then eventually I could catapult the church into a position of global dominance, which actually happened. 
going into the Middle Ages. So you can thank Constantine for helping a baby 300 year old religion known as Christianity ascend from being the scum of the earth, the people who were blamed for every bad thing that ever happened in the Roman Empire, to being the force that allowed the Catholic Church and the Eastern Orthodox Church to command much, much more power than any emperor or any king was ever able to do at that point in time. Peace.